Shaolin Monastery is the birthplace of Chan Buddhism and the cradle of Shaolin Kung Fu. The Chinese word Chan, which has Himalayan origins, can be variously translated as visualization, contemplation, concentration, or meditation. The Shaolin Monastery is located on the southern slope of the Shaoshu Peak in the Chinese province of Henan. Chan Buddhism spread out from this region to Vietnam, Korea, and Japan between the 6th and the 12th centuries. The Chinese name Shaolin Si literally means the monastery in the woods of Shao. In fact, Shao, which is short for Shaoshu, is the western peak of the famous Mount Song, one of the five sacred mountains of China. Emperor Xiao Wen made donations to an Indian Chinese monk named Buddha Bhadra, also known as Batuo, who founded the temple in the year 495 of the Common Era. As the first Shaolin abbot, Buddha Bhadra devoted himself to translating Buddhist scriptures and to teaching hundreds of students. In 527, a Central Asian monk named Bodhidharma, often known by his diminutive Dhammo, arrived at the Shaolin Temple. Bodhidharma spent nine years meditating in a cave on the mountainside above the monastery. He initiated the Chinese Chan tradition at the Shaolin Temple and was succeeded by Dazu Huika, who promoted Buddhist meditation, martial arts, Buddhist art, and traditional Chinese medicine. The Shaolin Temple also nurtured several other schools located at neighboring monasteries such as the Bai Ma or White Horse Temple and the Xiang Yan or Incense Stick Temple, which were in turn connected to the Dragon Gate Sculpture Movement and the ancient Gaochen Astronomical Observatory. In a glade below the Shaoli Monastery is the so-called Pagoda Forest, a complex of over 200 small pagodas built from the 8th to the 18th centuries. Xue Fuyu was a 13th century Shaolin abbot who held three Kung Fu symposiums at the monastery, each for a period of three years. As the martial artists returned to their hometowns or home countries, they brought back the Shaolin techniques with them. This is why so many Asian martial arts systems can trace their roots to the Shaolin Temple. Xue Fuyu wrote the following poem, which I quote. Only the holy person can walk the middle way and eventually attain wisdom and bliss. Embracing the whole to see the details, you may understand the workings of the universe. Buddhism shall spread like a sunburst all over the world. All forms of spirituality shall find common ground. Buddhist contemplation is crystal clear and powerful as an ocean. If you let go of attachments, the very essence of reality will emerge. Virtue and discipline always lead to strength and resolve. When your heart is still, its brightness will dispel the darkness. There is no religion higher than truth. Remain loyal and upright to ensure peace and happiness. Stay connected with your awakened nature. Follow in Hueka's footsteps and you will become enlightened. End of quote. In the 18th century, Emperor Qianlong dedicated the following couplet to the monastery, and I quote, Jade mountains and fragrant clouds open the gates of the spiritual realm. As pearly flowers and raindrops calm the contemplating mind.